Hello guys, good day. This is HBT Tutorial. So I'm back again for another video. So for today guys, we will continue our setup last week. So for today videos and tutorials is on how you, how do you configure and set up. How did you generate SSL and configure the how did you generate SSL for your which dial and so we will using a uh, let's encrypt so we will i will follow my uh, this uh centos 7 with the patch http tutorial okay okay and then uh, okay so and then we need we need the following so we need the public address so I already generated my domain so I'm using asterisk 18 that digital that CC and this my uh, uh, IP over here that I assigned it already and local IP or the private IP address on the uh, in the um, Amazon AC2 instance that I created okay so for today so if you if i browse this domain over here so let's see what will happen so i can able to access my dialer okay so if i get the welcome that php okay so let me get my private browsing using uh, okay I'll put over here so 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 that you can see it so I change the browser okay 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 so uh, using the domain that I assigned already so but it said it's not secured so for now we will generate an SSL certificate for this okay so we will use an i can copy this and go back here we will use the let's encrypt okay and for the bg phone we can use the highway so for the bg phone we will to follow that for now we will generate the ssl for this video okay so to start so we already we already do this and we have already done a fatche so for this we need to configure our http bios or apache bios so you need to create a directory or bios okay our session was stopped so we need to we need to restart it okay so once again guys if you like this video can you please give me a like and share and subscribe so that you can able to you can able to okay so going to restart this session and then go to the root and after that you must go 
you need to go you need to go use nano or what editor you like uh, nano v vim etc okay then http comp.d and then you can assign or you can if you want to just copy your domain and paste and don't forget to put this dot com okay it means it will use for the views you can copy all this one okay the space then then copy okay and then change this one to html and for the logs uh, if you want to change also then and then this one okay so after you change that you need to save just uh, first the control then zero enter then to exit control x okay so we already successfully created our views for our domain okay and then uh, we're going to install now the we need to install this following okay okay and then utils so my operating system is Alma Linux so uh, because um, uh, it's more stable than OpenSU right now because a lot of bugs on the built-in busybox ISO okay the yum utils so we gonna clear this page first okay go back again and now let's start to the installation of the certbot okay certbot y yum hyphen y space install certbot hyphen apache then press enter okay it means it's already installed and then we can start to generate uh, you can copy this one or you can use this and change this domain to which your domain okay just space and then just put your email and then just yes to confirm and no so that you you will not able to receive any promotional or uh, any notice from let's encrypt and then you can select which domain you want to activate or generate for the certboard SSL so our domain right now is using the number two so we will assign over here to and then wait a few seconds if we can able to generate an SSL okay so as you can see we have a field uh, communication or perch, uh, perching from here so possibly likely is a firewall so let me double check our firewall service firewall d is the status so there is no firewall installed right now on the server so you need to check your aws security group okay so you need to go back on your aws instance so this is the instances that i'm using so just click and go to the security check the inbound rules as you can see inbound rules are only allowed on the specific ip okay so from here you need to modify this okay uh, you can select this one you can edit 
or you can add additional so you can add the following so you can add the http and add the https okay so from here you can select from anywhere so that you can able to you can able to uh, communicate all over the world okay okay so it's successfully so we can now try now we'll try again so we'll try to clear this one again and then we will do the search button patch again okay and then just press 2 for your selected domain you want to generate an SSL okay so it's uh, waiting okay as you can see they have a prompt here that you have successfully generate an SSL I just copy from okay okay and then you can try if I refresh my page over here as you can see it's now automatically directly to HTTPS so. and uh, okay so as you can see over here if you check I'm already uh, using a secured unsecured uh, connection so okay and also from here you must be you must uh, edit this so just go to the http.com the SSL okay you need to modify this you need to replace this one okay and just and then just copy and this one okay and then copy the latest SSL okay. and the other one okay and then service httpd restarted okay because sometimes it happens uh the the views uh it will detect the default ssl.com so you already uh, in ssl but uh the having conflict with the views you created and the ssl.com so much better you need to change that and i'm sorry for that so we need to also to update this vhost so just copy my public IP okay and then my domain okay and then uh, no slash H host name I'm gonna replace this one to our O domain okay so if you check we have a uh, complete socket running so okay so So okay guys, so we have successfully generated a Let's Encrypt certificate to secure our Vichy Dial server with our new domain.
Okay. So as you can see, okay. So this is match with my local IP and it's weird to latest. So you can update your which dial server. Oh, you can put the domain there so that you can so you can set web db asterisk on the server okay and this one you can okay we're going as that is 18 point 18 so that's the okay so hope you you have enjoyed this video or uh we can try this one for now we will test uh okay we will continue this video for another video so next video will be the uh assigning the or configuring the bg phone and web rtc because we already have already an ssl okay thank you guys and have a nice day hope you like this video uh if you're not yet a subscriber you can you please just uh click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that every time i i have a latest video you're the one who were first received the notification that i'm have already upload a new video okay guys thank you and have a nice day see you for my next video for bg phone configuration and setup thank you and have a nice day